Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about Artlist again. I talked about this like a year ago. Uh, I still have it, uh, and I still highly recommend this as a great resource to find music for your videos at a decently priced price point. For those of you who don't know, Artlist is a music licensing website that allows you to do a yearly subscription and you get to download as much as you want and everything is royalty free. It's royalty free in every aspect. It's commercial, movies, uh, YouTube, anything. And they're all pre-screened for YouTube so you won't get any like strikes or monetization issues on YouTube. So that's fantastic, it's awesome. $199 a year, so it's billed annually and you get it for a whole year. Also, there's a link in the description below. If you use the link, you'll get two months free when you sign up for a year subscription. So it will give you 14 months, basically, when you sign up. So it's a really great deal. So I wanted to do a uh, refresh of that video because Artlist, I think, has upped its game from where it was even a year ago. They have added some new features to the program that I think are very key to making it even better. I feel like Artlist does a really good job of constantly updating their portfolio as far as options for music. Every month there's more albums and there's more music that comes out and it keeps it very fresh. And I've been very impressed with that. I've been using it for two years. Okay, so let's actually get into this now that I've chattered like crazy. All right, so if we come over here, here's the big thing that's changed with the new art list, are the sweet, sweet hotkeys. This is like my favorite part of the whole thing. It tells you what each key does and how to use it. So you can play, pause, M is mute, obviously volume, that's great. Uh, to get to the quick search, clear filters, that, that one's really nice. Um, go back to close and K is to see the keyboard shortcuts. But the most important ones for me are X, C, and the two arrow keys. This allows you to skip to the next song with C, or X is the previous song, or to skip 10 seconds in. So let me kind of give you an example of this. So let's say I'm looking for a song. You can choose your mood, your video theme, genre, instrument, and obviously they have their like spotlight, which is like their artist lists and featured and all this stuff. So it's cool. Let's let's pick a mood. Let's say, ah, uh, you know what? I'm feeling very peaceful. And my video theme is technology because I work for Qualtrics and they're a technology company. The genre, oh, let's, let's uh, you know, everyone, maybe indie and cinematic. And the instrument, uh, piano. I want to be like Apple and everything be piano. So then I get my curated list. Let's close that. So, oh, and then I, I don't want any vocals. And that's up here. So you can choose your vocals and then I can sort it by staff picks, top downloads, newest. Uh, I can choose my tempo and then my duration. So the duration one's one I actually use quite often. Um, typically I have a video that I, I don't want to have to cut down the music a ton. So I'll, I'll change the duration so it kind of narrows it down so I, don't, I can kind of know what I'm looking for. Tempo I don't use much at all. And then what I typically do, because I've had Artlist for about two years now, I always go newest. Because I've listened to the library a ton. So I always want to see what's the newest ones right away because it's probably the ones I haven't heard yet. But that's just me. Obviously, if you're starting out and you're new to Artlist, I'd probably go with staff picks or top downloads. Um, but I like to do newest because I've had Artlist two years and I've gone through their library a lot. So here's what's great. So I click on the first one. I'm gonna turn on this volume a little bit. There we go. So I put my hands on C and X and then the two arrows. And so I'll listen to it and then I can skip by touching this. That song's not great, so let's go to the next one. I hit C. And then if I want, I can pause it and then also hit K to go to my keyboard shortcuts to remember, oh yeah, uh, I want to change the volume or mute it. And then the last really nice shortcut is the right cl mouse click, which pulls up the category list. So if you're in here looking for a song, nothing's working, right click and you can quickly change what you're looking for and add it to your mood and such. Rather than having to move the mouse all the way over here, click on each one, move it down. It's much easier to just quickly click 
you know, you can get into Spotlight really fast that way. You can also jump over to my music, check out the collections you have or, or whatever, what have you. That's, that's it, that's the keyboard shortcuts and it's so great. The keyboard shortcuts, it streamlines it like crazy. So let's go in um, and I'll show you kind of uh, a few other things real quick. So they did change their layout also of their collections, their layouts, favorite artists, and all that. And that is done by doing things like this. So I can add it to cart. Like I like this song here. I can add it to cart. I can add it to a collection, which I click on and I can choose. I've made all these collections and I've labeled them and such. So I can choose a collection. I can favorite the song or I can share it so you don't have to fully download it and then send it in an email or something. It's really nice, you can just click here, get a link, and you can send it to the client and say, hey, is this the song that you'd like? Okay, so let's go into, I click on up here on Micah's music, and you can see I have tabs for download history. These are all the ones I've downloaded, and there's a lot, so we won't look at those right now. Uh, my collections, which this is really nice. I, I have been um, pretty religious about coming on Artlist about once a month, even if I'm not looking for music, and just listening to the new stuff and adding it into categories so I can find it later because they're adding stuff all the time. So I find it very helpful to just once a month, I go through maybe 15, 15 minutes total as I go through all the albums and just like pick out which ones I like, which ones would work. So I have a bunch of different categories that you can see here, um, which is really great. Then I have my favorite artists over here, which I guess I haven't favorited any artists. I thought I had. I mostly use collections, let's be honest. I use collections mostly. But if you have a favorite artist, you can put them here. And then I have a lot of favorite art um, albums. I should, I should choose this guy as my favorite artist. And you can click on all the different, you can click on him. And there you go. Boom, all of his songs and all of his albums on the side here. And this is, this is a new function as well that's really nice. So I can click on, oh, let's go to Sierra. Okay, so there's all his songs. Let's, uh, let's get into one of them. So this is the album, Sierra. I'm listening to Summit. So I can click here and listen to it. And again, I can use my hotkeys to skip around. Super cool. Plus he looks like a chill dude. Doesn't he look like a chill dude? He looks like a chill dude. That's why all his music's so chill. Anyway, and then this is a really nice function that they've added. It gives you similar songs on the side here. So I can say, you know, I, I, this isn't working great for me. I, I can click on this one and let's see what, uh, let's see what Lado B. See, this guy doesn't look as chill. He looks a little more like serious. Or maybe, maybe somebody just tapped him on the shoulder and he's like, what? Or he's at a piano and he's playing. And he's like, could be any of those things. All right, anyway, so I can listen to this one and be like, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. So much more somber and serious. And then again, I can add it to cart. And so if I add it to cart, ooh, it's in my cart up here. Look at that. I can click on it. It shows me my cart. Check out. And bada bing, it's now in my downloads. It's great. That's the one thing, I will still say this about Artlist, I wish they allowed the download process to be a little more streamlined. It's frustrating to have to click four times to have to download your, your music. And I know, like, I can download the license now, I can download the MP3, the Wave, but I just wish once you click on it, add it to the cart, you hit checkout, and then it says, what do you want to download it as? And then it would just add it to your download history. That'd be really nice. But that's, the, that's my one small little beef with it. So one last thing that I wanted to show on Artlist is um, they now added these little tiny arrows. These are kind of hidden, but you can click on these arrows and it'll show you other versions of the song. So as you're looking for a song, maybe I'm like, oh, I like this song here. This one's great, but I wish it had vocals. Oh look, a little arrow. It does have vocals. So great. Anyway, so that's, that's the last little tip is those little arrows, which is great. But Artlist is still very, like I would say one of my favorites as far as a subscription base goes. Easy to navigate, 
constantly putting up new music, especially if you're a person who is going to do videos for a lot of different clients, not just YouTube, but you're doing it for other clients and stuff, you can use this for that too, as long as you have the license and things like that and you're the one using it. Or you know what? Even better, charge the client 200 bucks for the licensing the music and you just got Artlist for another year. Boom, baby. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Um, and again, there is a link down below for Artlist uh, to give you two free months when you sign up with that link. Check it out. Check out Artlist. The new navigation is super nice. Um, they've really streamlined the process of finding music and it and I just really enjoy using Artlist. It's just quick, it's easy, and I can find my music pretty seamlessly. Anyway, thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.